Hey guys, this is Jules with True Crime Reactions. Disclaimer. Everything stated in this video is my opinion and my opinion only. And just like everything else in these cases we discuss here on this channel, everything is alleged. Okay, I hadn't actually seen anything from the dedication. I know that there was, or at least there has been some mixed feelings sort of pushed out there when it comes to this dedication, this memorial garden, because... The way that it's coming to us is that uh, some of the families feel as if the Idaho four victims' names were used to like fundraise this and the family was basically under the impression that it was going to be only for the Idaho four victims, Maddie, Kaylee, Zana, Ethan. And I think that maybe them having this memorial garden sort of presented to them that way maybe is the reason why a lot of fight really wasn't presented too much for the house not to be taken down. But then it ended up that it's not just for the Idaho Four, it's for all of the students that have ever been killed for any reason whatsoever, that have lost their lives for any reason whatsoever at the campus which is great and all to have a memorial place like that, but that's not how it was presented. And so at least that's what we've heard. We've done videos and we have clips here on this channel and all over the place of the families, more than one, making a comment about the name sort of being used and it sort of being not completely the truth. They were played, I guess, is sort of a way to put it. But the dedication of the garden has now come and gone. And I saw this on Facebook. The Consolvis has posted this on the Consolvis Facebook page. And so I wanted to go ahead and clip a little bit of it and post it in case you guys hadn't seen it. I hadn't. I honestly, because of what we've heard, have sort of not really been paying attention to all the stuff going on with it. But here it is for those of you that are interested. Kaylee Gonzalez, November 2022. Ethan Chapin, November 2022. Maddie Mogan, November 2022. Zanna Carnoodle, November of 2022. The garden honors the four University of Idaho students killed in their off-campus home, as well as other vandals who have died. Stacy and Jim Chapin, Ethan's parents, as well as Christy and Steve Gonsalves, Kaylee parents, and Ben Mogan, who is Maddie's parent, was here, as well as dozens and dozens of other friends. At least over 600 people attended tonight. We'll give you a look of what's happening right now. People are starting to go out and check out the Vandal Healing Garden, get a look for themselves. This memorial garden is designed to remember not only the four victims, but the other people who, who passed away in car crashes and other similar events to remember their names too. And what you could do with that note when you're done with it, you put it in that little wooden crate just off to the right that would be on the west end of the Vandal Healing Garden and you can leave that note there for Ethan, Zana, Kaylee, Madison to look at and remember and think about all the memories they had here on the University of Idaho campus. Over $280,000 was raised to build this Vandal Healing Garden. The, the construction and the development, the design has been happening since about a year and a half uh, since that frightful November 13th, 2022. Earlier today, I spoke with Stephen Christy Gonsalves, the parents of Kaylee, to talk about how important this Vandal Healing Garden is. Positive thing about college is, is is the experience, but it's also I, I told my children it's very lonely, you know, and, and it's a shocker to just like one day you're in your house, you've been there until you remember, uh -huh. and then all of a sudden you're just with nothing but strangers. So maybe a place like that can just help kids uh, find themselves and yeah, be and grounded, have some peace, know that that uh, that good times will come and go, but uh, you know what they're doing in school matters and. You know, getting a degree will help them throughout the rest of their lives. And a little place like that maybe will help them, you know, get through that. And it's been a very magical day for the Gonsalves family. They say it's been nice to honor their daughter as well as who they consider their second daughter, Maddie Mogan. They say it's also really difficult to be here in the first place. And we are also talking with some other family members here who didn't want to go on camera, but they're talking about uh, looking back and remembering the four victims and who they were, the beautiful souls that they were. And they were talking about having a place to remember that and honor that and all of the other students who may pass away here at the University of Idaho and all of the other students who may pass away here at the University of Idaho and all of the other students who may pass away here at the University of Idaho who may pass away. But again, Stacy Chapin, Jim, her husband, Ethan's parents, as well as Christy Steve and Ben Mogan here talking with all these beautiful friends and family, the Vandal family. Now, I will admit it's pretty, but it looks like a UFO. 
So I guess that's the thing these days. I don't know. If people like it, then I guess they like it. I'm not going to knock it. I just feel like you tore down the house that wasn't even on campus because you just couldn't take it. And then you put a memorial that just is supposed to be even more sad than just the one situation of losing four lives because now it's a dedication to everyone, which just magnus, you know, magnifies the emotional negativity that would be around that spot because regardless of what people want to believe that it is it's it's like a grave site it's you're going there just like you would a mausoleum where there's names and whatever and yeah it's not a happy place they're they're not gonna get away with trying to act as if this is a positive it's not it's a sad place where people are going to go when they are grieving the loss of someone that's what it's for so you know get rid of the house that wasn't on campus that wasn't even a sorority house where these girls had leases and were from all different sororities and lived all separate lives. Get rid of that because it's just too much for the community, but keep the trial, keep the trial here in the community so that we have to deal with it even longer. And it causes even more animosity and chaos in our community. And also let's just put this right in the middle of campus so that it actually affects our students. Yeah, this is a great plan. This is reality, guys. This is just, this is reality. The Truman Show, yes, very much so. But that's it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you like the way that I present this information and give my opinion, please do not forget to leave a like on your way out. Subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed already. And don't forget to hit the alls on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my updates, rants, reviews, reactions, or deep dives. See y'all.